Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Eme Feli speaks with Tinubu, reportedly willing to return 1.6 billion to secure a plea bargain. Eme Feli has called President Bola and Eme Tinubu, and um, they've spoken because the matter has to come from only Tinubu. No other person can give him that leverage. So he has called on Tinubu, and um, Tinubu. Uh, he's, he, has, he said he wants a plea bargain. In case you are you are wondering, where is it Mayfeli? By the way, Mayfeli is in a Koji Correction Center, which is a prison. Himself and uh, Tinobu got on, on the wrong foot because he was the he was the um, CBN governor when election was coming in and. I don't know how Tinubu saw it, but it felt like Emefeli was trying to spite him by ensuring that the currency was changed so that uh, the bill of land will not uh, be effective. In fact, Tinubu was in Oshun Ogun State and was saying they should do what they want to do on your mandate. Now, no mandate, they are crying, no, in case, just by the way, that's just by the side. So, I mean, so Emef t since then, Tinubu has him not on the red book, on the black book, blacklist. That this guy, when I get there, if I get there, I will deal with you. And so as soon as he got there, yes, the guy is actually reaping the fruits. You know, when you plant a tree, eventually fruits will come up and the fruits are beginning to pop up. Uh, so he has, they've given him different charges for which... You know, they've successfully handed him over to the prison. And now he has spoken with Tinobu, pleading that he wants to drop 1.6 billion naira. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefili, has reportedly spoken with President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, and he said he will return 1.6 billion to secure a plea bargain. Recall that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC) has last week arraigned Emefili on a six-count charge bordering on alleged procurement fraud. The original charge, which was 20 counts of 6.5 billion, was reduced to six counts. To 1.6 billion. The former CBN governor only defend in the new charge was has been has been reminded in Koji Correction Center. However, according to this um, day, Emefeli is now willing to return some billions to secure a plea bargain with the federal government, having discussed with Tinubu that he's not ready to stay in prison. The reliable source told our correspondent that the amount the former Apex Bank chief wants to return is, is a scratch from what he allegedly has looted from the Treasury. The source said he's willing to refund some money to secure a plea bargain. But I cannot give you the exact figure. Even what he wants to return is a scratch from what is believed he has taken away. Another source revealed that $1.6 billion is what Emefili is willing to drop at the moment. But if AFCC push further, maybe he will drop more. Adding that the ongoing investigation may have uncovered massive fraud by the former CBN governor to the tune of $3 trillion. Hmm. Ah, this one bad. Why people, they suffer. One person gets $3 trillion. Mm. You don't understand them. Let's continue. That's not the one where you know who they estimate. So. <laughs> The 1.6 billion that Emefeli is, is ready to tip off, which the EFCC has agreed to, is a slap on the on the face of the special investigators who has revealed that Emefeli has they have uncovered. This is what they have been able to uncover up to three trillion, and is only ready to drop 1.6 billion. Not enough. Not good enough. Another top CBN source discovered disclosed that the Mayfeli allegedly misappropriated money largely from the COVID fund and the anchor borrow scheme, which largely he used for himself. He said there are others, including foreign exchange manipulation, abuse of extent rule, abuse to the extent of the rule of CBN, among other shady deals a Mayfeli did. He's not the only one, but he's the one taking the heat of the game because he offended Tinubu in the process. So what did they happen? We say 
This is just Tinobu dealing with one of the people who tried him. Say next time, when next time, when next time you see me coming, you will run into your hole, take shelter. So the guy said he wants to return one point. We want to return one point uh, one point six billion. That's what he wants to return. But guess what? They said no. That that is a slap, a major slap on the face. That what a mayfeli. What they have been able to put together that they may feel may have taken on. Hmm? What they've been able to put together is close to is three trillion and above. And he's only saying he wants to drop uh, you know this amount that is not good enough in any way for more kind. So, my lovelies, this is what is happening, this is what is going on, and every single person can see. It is important that we all begin to, you know, work at this and ensure that the right things are done in order for this nation to move forward. Those of them who are telling us they want to lead and yet they are the very extent to which they are the very people who destroy this nation. You know, money that is meant not, I mean, for repair of road, money that is meant to build schools, money that is meant for every other thing in the country is now being used by some few selfish individuals very few small selfish group very few small selfish group and this group is so small it's so insignificant that they are the ones you know putting a hard one on the entirety of nigerians you know who lives in the country and so this is why you cannot afford to be quiet this is why you must speak out because currently right now you don't understand it these people are selfish that even when they see others dying you know, this immediately we are talking about, I just want to ask, because I know they said it's from Delta State. It's, I'm not talking about Delta State. I'm talking about his village in Delta State. Has he been able to take care of the people so much so that the people of Delta State can rise up for him and say, ah, after you, now you again. We must, ah, no, 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 we must do everything for you because the way you have served us, the way you have gone ahead for us, we cannot afford, blah, blah. what has he done for the people? Because you see your money, your goods is not just for you. What has he done for the people? What has he done? You will be remembered by the things you have done, not how much you have. The money you have is nobody cares. Trust me, sincerely, truly speaking, nobody cares. Nobody really cares. So this is what is happening. Leave us a comment. We will love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.